182 182 that is the score that a team full of international batsmen could not chase down against the West Indies Academy team yes my peeps we're gonna take a look at how that game went between the Jamaica Scorpions and the West Indies Academy we also see where Trinidad and Tobago they came out victorious in their game so i'm going to give you a quick recap of how that one went down also so as per usual just give a listening ear until the end of the video and if you have not yet subscribed please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel leave a like and make sure you drop a comment so we can know what you think about this so we're going to start off with the jamaica ver uh jamaica scorpions versus the west indies cricket academy and 182 all out in 44.5 overs that is what the West Indies Academy made and I wasn't too happy about it because these are youngsters that we're hoping will come through in the next year or next couple of years to really move, um, take up spots in the West Indies team so even though they are playing against Jamaica you know, it was disappointing seeing them not being able to bat out at least the 50 overs even if they didn't score 200 you understand our 250 or whatever it would have been good to see them battle uh the 50 overs that is something that we struggle with in the region very rare do we watch a game of cricket that has to do with west indies and we battle out, we battle out 50 overs battle out 300 deliveries not talking about test cricket right whether it is the, the, the same super 50 or we are odi cricket not very often we stay and bat 50 overs so 182 is what um the West Indies Cricket Academy made and you know we had some good bowling from the from the Jamaica Scorpions but they, they were also some indifferent shot shots for arm um, selections from some of the youngsters so Teddy Bishop and Leonardo Julian they opened up and um, you know Bishop he wasn't able to get much this time around he had 11 uh, Julian he had 32 Keegan Simmons had 14 and Wickham who seems to be a very good prospect he was able to get some runs under his belt. He had 46 from 55. He was actually the top scorer there. And in that 46, he had three fours and a six. So those were the main contributors with the bat. And bowling for the Jamaica uh, Scorpions, Javier, uh, Javier Royal, somebody whose name has been called as it relates to him getting an opportunity at the West Indies level. He bowled 10 overs, gave away 39 runs. And picked up three wickets we also had Jeremy Merchant picking up two for 33 but the man of the day with the ball for the Jamaica Scorpions would have been Dennis Bulai yes man Dennis Bulai had four wickets for 32 runs from his 8.5 overs so you know it was basically unplayable really. so it, it just goes to show that we're batting spin in the region is concerned it's not getting any better and not only were the cricket academy youngsters not not being able you know not 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 where they are not only able to to um to, to to score you know they were they 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 were not able to to to, to bat to bat out the 50 over so even though they were not scoring fast yeah we went all the way over there to come back just to say this so even though they were not able to bat um to score a lot of runs they were not able to bat out the 50 overs which is definitely concerning so Dennis Bulai took um most of the wickets but as uh, I don't want to say luck would have it as good good performance by the academy youngsters and poor performance from the scorpions would have it they run out um victorious that's that's the youngsters and it, it, it's not a good look because when you look at it we had Nkuma Bana in that team Jermaine Blackwood Brandon King and Ravman Paul all of these guys are are are, are, are you know are playing in the West Indies um Teams, we're talking about test team ODI and T20 main stayers in the teams you understand and to see them go about that chase so loosely it wasn't good you understand and where 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 the bowling is concerned um where the bowling is concerned the the, the West Indies Cricket Academy youngsters did well especially you know the the, the spinners the spinners did did well and um Naeem Young he I, I, I think that initially he was missing missing the trick 
with the ball swinging around a little bit, you know, he was playing without a slip and I think one or two edges were found and, you know, because of, of, of him not having that, that the, the feelers there, you know, it didn't work out for him. But as I said, the Jamaica Scorpions, they just went ahead and gave it away. So Brandon King made 28 from 40. Jermaine Blackwood had 14 from 22. Enkru Mabana had 2 from 14. Andre McCarthy had 28 from 43 and Captain Ruffman Poel once again showing that he's in good form. He had 42 from 30, um, from 39, but that was basically right where it ended when he got out. You know, Alden Thomas, he came and he made 22 from 35. Odin Smith had 7 from 10. Not too sure what's going on in Odin Smith's brain. Um, Jeremy Merchant didn't score. Dennis Bullay had 10. And Javier Royal 3, Nicholson Garden ended up on 3. You understand? So at one point in time, we had Jamaica Scorpions had maybe 3 wickets, wickets in hands, hand, if I'm not mistaken. And we wanted something like 17 runs. And we had probably 80 or 75 or something like that deliveries to get them. And we still ended up doing some madness and, 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 and gave it away. Now bowling for the, for the Cricket Academy, we had Joshua James getting 3 for 19 from um from seven overs ashmid ned was also very very good he had three for 33 from seven overs and um you know we had wickham getting two for 33 and those were the pick of the bowlers as the jamaica scorpions went down by 12 runs yes my viewers and subscribers so the west indies cricket academy getting the better of the lights of brandon king german just listen to this um, batting order. Brandon King, Jermaine Blackwood, Enkru Mabana, Andre McCarthy, Ravman Paul. Those are guys that, you know, um, probably McCarthy to a lesser extent. They have been playing cricket at a very good level for a long, long, long time. You understand? Well, McCarthy has been there for a while also. And let me see how many mainstays in the West Indies team. Brandon King 1, Jermaine Blackwood 2, Enkru Mabana 3, Ravman Paul 4, Odin Smith 5, and um, yeah, five mainstays in the senior teams, whether it be Test, T20 or ODIs, and they were not able to get the better of those guys. You see, I'm not upset that the youngsters won because it's, it's regional cricket. It doesn't really, you know, I, I don't really, I don't want to say I don't care, but it's regional cricket. So if the youngsters perform well, that would be good. But the fact that they only made 100 and, and, and add runs, my peeps, and 182, and the, the Scorpions got bowled out for 170, that made it very, very, you know, very, very difficult to accept. So that is how that game went. And just before I jump out of here, let me just give you some information about that Trinidad and Tobago Red Force um, victory. They were able to pick up a victory over the Windward Islands team. Another poor batting performance. Um, Windward Islands, they were bowled out for 189. Yes, you're hearing me right. 189, they were bowled out for in 47 overs. Johnson Charles not getting uh, much this time around. Alec Arthanes was uh, gotten two centuries so far. He was only able to get two. Uh, Johnson Charles 16. Kevin Hodge, who got a century in the last um uh, last game i think hodges his name he got 39 and uh walcott had 36 those were the two main contributors with preston mcsween at the bottom getting 22. now where the bowling is concerned for the trinidad and tobago red force Jaden seals he had four overs 24 runs one wicket uh the pick of the bowlers yannick Karaya, his 10 overs cost him 34 runs and he was able to pick up three wickets you know, um, Terence Hines had 2 for 39, while Shannon Gabriel had 2 for 36. Akil Hussein, 10 over, was very, very, um, you know, economical. He bowled 10 overs, 29 runs, 1 wicket. So 189, they were bowled out for. And the Trinidad and Tobago Red Force batsmen made light work of that. Um, Utley, he had 36 from 48 at the top. Good partnership with Joshua De Silva, another mainstay in the West Indies team. These guys will be leaving um, probably in the next couple of days to go um, to Australia for the test. Uh, Joshua De Silva, he had 66 from 88. Uh, Jason Mohammed 20. And Darren Bravo, Darren Bravo and Nicholas Poran, both men actually took it home for the Red Force. Uh, Darren Bravo getting 27 from 56 not out. While Nicholas Poran was able to get 36 from uh, 31, not out to make sure that they got across the line. Hodge, uh, Greaves, and Arthanis, they all picked up a wicket each. 
and that is how it went my viewers and subscribers Trinidad and Tobago Red Force taking victory there by seven um, seven wickets with 42 deliveries to spear and there you have it that is how the two um, Super 50 games went today some poor batting on show you know none of the teams were able to get um, 190 or, or, or 200 or anything like that in any of the games so yeah Go and leave it right there for now, my viewers and subscribers. Tomorrow we'll touch base again. Zin, big up on yourself.